goes they're wrong. Not, they're not going to it's, know about child protection because it's so, probably so they, they haven't got it in their yeah, country. Yeah. Uh, there's no understanding people of who it. People simply didn't fully understand what the social worker was trying to say. So um, yeah, similar things. And to judge Sarah. Hello there, we're here at the conversation dinner at Hare Hills. Uh, I'm sat with the lovely organisers that have made this happen. So uh, we'll start off with Vicky first. Hiya Vicky. Hi. Um, this is Vicky. And Lee. Lee, yes, brilliant. Um, to sort of start off with, um, and we've obviously had a conversation with everybody else. I've been a participant. I very much uh, enjoyed today. In terms of yourself, what was the purpose and what was it that you wanted to achieve by holding this dinner tonight? Well we were really hoping just to get lots of different members from the Hare Hills community who wouldn't necessarily normally have a conversation with each other to get together and have conversations about the things that mean the most to them so that we could take forward that information to implement things in the area that the community actually want to see. Everything starts with a conversation and quite often in this hectic world that we live in today we don't even know our neighbours um, and to have a conversation and realise actually that our hopes and dreams are exactly the same as the people around us can bring people together to enact change and I think this is a start or could be the start of something really fruitful. My name is Gail Glover uh, from Shine Space. Um, my thoughts on the conversation dinner tonight uh, was I've really enjoyed it. Um, I've met some lovely people um, <laughs> from different cultures and, and from the area so um, that's, that's fantastic. Um, and although we, we're quite close, we'd never met before, so, so that's, that's great. My name is Andrew. Uh, I think the conversation dinner is a relatively new concept to this area and something that I'm glad to have participated in. Um, uh, there are a lot of varying thoughts uh, on varying topics uh, which can affect this community. And um, I think I came here more through curiosity really um, just to just to find out what the varying thoughts were out there. My name is Michaela Sarkoziova. I am from Advocacy Support and I work in with Roma families. I am happy about this meeting. <laughs> I don't know what else to say so thank you. It's very keen on this conversation dinner happening because I think it's well established that people can often have a more constructive conversation if they meet over food and drink and and I think that's what is happening I think that um, the next the challenge really though is to get people who are more different in their outlook uh, we, we, we sitting around here have not had any disagreements really not not fundamentally um, but there are lots of people living in Hare Hills with whom we might disagree and and my hope was that some of the people who go to packed meetings for example who have very strong views about people who've come in to live in the area and I think the challenge would be to have people who don't like the say East Europeans have come into the area to sit at a table with those same East Europeans and see if they can come to some kind of common understanding. A local resident in Hare Hills. Um, yeah, the conversation dinner so far has been good. It's been nice getting to know somebody else, some, another woman who's had from a different cultural background but with similar struggles and seeing how she's overcome them and that's a real encouragement. In terms of the conversation, if I'm honest, I I didn't really know, I didn't have much to expect. Um, I, I've never been to anything like this before. Um, pleasantly surprised. Um, I think it's a fantastic platform um, for individuals um, from all, all sorts of backgrounds to come uh, and have a conversation about uh, what their personal aspirations are, what they want to do within the community, um, what everyone is doing at the moment. And uh, we've had some interesting talks with Roger and Andrew. My name is Yvonne, Yvonne Hilton. Um, and uh, my thoughts for the conversation dinner tonight I attend was quite good. It's quite interesting um, meeting others and talking about our ideas for the community. I find it good, quite good, yes. Councillor Arifson, I represent the Gipton and Hairhills uh, as a Fadalir City Council. It was a very good suggestions and uh, getting this uh, dinner together for tonight and coming a lot, you know, different peoples uh, and faces to first 
A is the meeting, uh, meeting with the different peoples and then uh, sharing uh, and discussing uh, issues and ideas and looking forward to mo moving as a forward and uh, to looking at good things to doing it for the area. In terms of yourself, uh, Vicky, um, you are also the Hair Hills uh, manager as well. Um, do, do you feel as though, are you quite happy with the sort of the turnout that's come in today, the different people that have come in? I mean, what are your thoughts? Yeah, I mean, it's great. We have got a lot of people here tonight and it's, it's always a bit of a risk <laughs> that people will actually turn up and we, um, we're really pleased that there seems to be a good representation from Hair Hills here. Um, it would just be great if we could you know we could run this every week and still not cover everyone in the area so it's nice just to get that snapshot and hopefully we can build on it more in the future. I'm quite disappointed with the turnout actually but maybe it's not about the turnout and it's about the conversation we've had very interesting conversations and some food for thought conversation dinner food for thought um, about way, ways forward and about savvy working of organizations um, and how we can Im improve on that, improve on the, the dynamic, dynamics um, of the community within Hare Hills which is getting more and more complex um, about, about integration of the community because a lot of the community are in isolation, they're working in isolation um, and they need support to um, integrate more into other communities as well. In terms of yourself, Lee, I mean, what is it that you wish to take away from tonight? I mean, is, what, what do you feel as though will sort of come out of this uh, dinner tonight? I think people made new connections, new friends. I think they will see the world from someone else's perspective that maybe they hadn't considered before. I think we would also come away with people's a greater understanding of people's hopes and ambitions personally, but also for the community and what Leeds City Council can do to help achieve that and support them in, in, in getting them goals. My background to these um, in the current social circle, uh, in what way do I find them different? They are different. There are different people here and different ideas. Uh, each one of us got different ideas regarding our community and what we want to see, I would think. Yeah. I was sat with Councillor Camilla, um, and <laughs> I feel the fact that she's a councillor puts her in a very different social circle in many ways. Uh, I'm very grateful for the fact that I've had quite a long time to, to chat with you, which doesn't, which she's so busy, it's just a <laughs> rare opportunity. Um, and what were they different? I think, so the difference is, is about, um, yeah, you're part of the local authority, you're a councillor and everything that comes with that. The lady I've been talking with is from a different cultural background, but not necessarily different from the social circles I'm mixing in at the moment, especially within my workplace. Um, did a little thing about the person sat with you. Um, I've learnt a lot of things really. Um, I think particularly more on the Romani uh, culture and the people uh, and, and how vibrant the culture is and how family orientated they are and uh, how um, integrating and, and um, having problems with language barriers um, isolated a few people um, but hopefully moving forward um, that's going to improve yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. with more ESOL classes and getting yeah. families involved and of course I've learnt more about uh, the centre, the echo centre at the top of the road which is two minutes away from us uh, and learnt a little bit more about what they do and um, how to outreach to the community. Um, so I've learnt a lot about these two lovely people I'm sat with today. How the Literary Council has, uh, uh, be honest with you, as, as, as councillors uh, we're always looking at good things to drop in for uh, not just for the one community or not just for the one uh, only hair health, for the full, full ward uh, and well, basically is the question for the hair health uh, and making it, um, people's and the community's life more better and easier, easy access to approach it if they have any kind of the difficulty with the Leeds City Council's uh, services, uh, it doesn't matter what kind of services it is, uh, we try to better to giving a better service into the area and making an area to more better. But we do need a, uh, 
uh, as your councillors, we always there to help to the community, help to the local residents uh, with the local issues. Uh, and I think it's, 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 it's all dependent to the community uh, how they want to be work with us and the bringing the forward the cases and the issues which uh, hopefully the least, as a city councils and the local councillors we can deliver for this area and making a more better uh, this area for every single community. How this council can support and help you achieve your aspirations for the community of Hare Hills. Um, I think for me more conversation dinners like this um, and sharing of information um, I think one of the things that we all uh, have found here is that we've all got bits of information but jointly we didn't know um, all of the information so maybe somewhere we can access the information in one place so I think that would be useful. Quite a lot can be done um, for Hair Hills to make it a better place. For one there's so many young people who walk the streets sometimes don't have anywhere to go and don't know what to do. I think there should be more facilities done to help these young people off the streets um, learn them skills, better skills, so that they can take a rightful place in community. Um, get the drugs off the streets, people need homes and to feel good and happy that they are part of this. There's a lot more can be done for Hair Hills, you know. Black people especially have nowhere to go and, you know, the clubs and things, there's nothing there. Most young people don't have nowhere to go, to be honest, if I may say that they're all struggling to make their way. So I would like to see more done as to teach the young people skills. Um, for them to learn how to live with each other in harmony also. There's just a long list. Where do you want to start? We're just talking, starting to talk about the mess that Hare Hills is physically. And, and of course one thing that would make a huge difference is every, every resident took the charge of their own rubbish, which they don't. So obviously a lot of people just don't bother. So what could you do to make people bother? How could the city centre, how could the council improve its services? There's a whole network of things which I won't bore you right now going into all of them, but we're just starting to have a look at it. In terms of sort of tidying up hair hills, um, not something that's not anybody sort of thinks about, obviously, but if you come to think of it, I mean, Andrew mentioned if every single person picked up a brush and a shovel and did something we'd be living in a very much cleaner sort of we'd have cleaner streets around Hare Hills and I think I'll take that away uh, and I did mention that's something that I will mo most hopefully be involved in um, so it's just topics like that um, in terms of sort of my aspirations for Hare Hills I've mentioned this to um, Andrew and Roger from my point of view I do feel as though that uh, women are under representative um, I'm hoping to sort of get involved myself one uh, and to sort of encourage more women from different backgrounds uh, to sort of be more involved and sort of get their voices heard uh, I think it's important that we have uh, one half of the country's voices also heard uh, my aspirations uh, for Hair Hills going forward are going to be sort of um, getting more women involved I am part of the East Leeds Women's Officer I'm looking to have a women's um, forum uh, open up super, uh, recently I am going to have one I'm um, hoping to get sort of women together sort of discuss what the issues are what we can do to better ourselves and the, uh, the community that we live in. What did I learn anything about new about the residents that make up Hales community? I think what I learned and I don't think I learned it I, it just compounds what I already know is that as different communities come in to the area the fit there's they have the same issues of the last community that moves out of the area um, and that it's an ongoing process of learning and, and working with people and coming from their level and their understanding and, where, and, meet, and looking at meeting their needs and that all those, those needs are very diverse but there's still the support is still needed to be there to be able to access services, access um, social um, social networks, those sorts of things. And the work is never done and can never be never done. I find out what everything we can do with my family, families in Leeds. I didn't know we can have a policeman and a fireman to show us the car so we can do that now. 
and we can have more courses for our families. It's all class, dancing, maybe singing, anything what we want. So, what did I learn? What did you learn? I think it's um, it's really nice to see councillors as ordinary people, um, to see councillors listening well and understanding uh, some of the things that we that we have to say. Um, actually, that just spent just just sitting down for a reasonable length of time and having a conversation, as opposed to uh, a, a, an interview session or you know or a complaining, which I. So we do. Just having a conversation is a completely different dynamic, which is really good, it's really nice, thank you. Uh, is there anything interesting that you've overheard while sort of going around, um, sort of anything that you, you've, you've heard tonight that you feel as though, oh that's, that's good, I, we can take that back? I've certainly seen people um, opening up, it's been really interesting to see people coming who've been really quite shy and a little bit introvert and you could tell by the body language to see them after half an hour really open body language talking and laughing and and really getting into it which is a difficult thing to have a conversation with someone you've never met before and I think Vicky's also heard some really interesting yeah things. I had some feedback from a one participant who said that they've had a really interesting conversation with people who they wouldn't previously have spoken to and they were just fascinated to hear about different backgrounds and experiences of people living so sort of probably within a mile also of each other and um, so that's really positive you know increasing understanding within the community and well that can only be a benefit I will be on the phone to Camilla tomorrow <laughs> and I'll be emailing Derek about potential ways in which we could potentially work together well yes uh, we're going out for lunch um, which yeah to the Mara Centre which is great and we all, we all love curries that's wonderful so we're happy about that um, and I think um, We've already uh, built up a little bit of a bond just in the short time we've been here. Yeah, yeah. So, so that's my experience from tonight and I've really enjoyed it. I would definitely be interested in coming and hearing the thoughts of other participants uh, 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 the next conversation dinner that we do have. Um, so I would look forward to an invite from Lee. It would be great to continue to do things like this, but obviously we've got limited resources. Um, but we're looking at lots of different ways that we can bring the community together. And I think what's most important is what we take from nights like tonight. So these are people who are interested in the community and what they can do to move forward and how we can help the community grow, really. Tati, that sounds good. Thank you very much. Thank you.